Okay, so I'm going to give this a second shot. After I watched the first video and pretty much how bad it was, uh, I decided to redo it. Okay, so it was brought to my attention that there's an issue with uh, the configurations for hyper launch or hyper spin, respectively. And the way that you would address that is um, starting off, go into uh, your arcade folder, hyper launch. Hyper Launch HQ. And this is where you can verify if you're going to launch a specific profile for a system. And we will see here with both the Sega Genesis, see how it has one here, it's going to launch this particular profile which we don't really want it to do, or well actually I already changed this, I apologize. This has been corrected. This is the correct setting. Previously it had the comma over here or something like that. Now you can set this up so that it'll launch whatever you want, but whatever you decide to launch the emulator also has to be configured. And again the other corrections that needed to be made was in global Make sure you're on global over here, key mapper here, and hyperspin is the set that's going to be used whenever you're selecting your games and emulators. And unfortunately, again, this one has been corrected. Uh, let me see if I can launch the wrong one. I should have it on another drive. Let's see here. Let's see if the new test master because this was a copy of the old one. Hyper launch, profiles, XPatter, default. This should load the wrong one, and it did. See how we got the period here and the comma over here? That's not our desired setup. So to correct it, we would open what we do want in this case arcade tools and this is where I store I guess you could say the master copies is arcade tools xpatter and player one that loaded what we wanted it to be that's correct and then you would save as arcade hyper launch profiles xpatter default and you would replace both player one and hyperspin. Okay. So the next problem that we have is that system specific profile for the Sega Genesis. And in this case it has been corrected. So let me see the ma the master system. Let's see if this has the wrong one in there. and it does. This also has the incorrect profile. So we'll open the correct profile and we're still here, Arcade Tools X Pattern, the desired profile which is this one and now we're going to save it as Arcade Hyper Launch Profiles X Pattern Default, or not default, um, Sega Master System rather overwrite it and so we could go here now this doesn't have a system specific so it will use that default but since we've set a system specific one here and uh, the Sega Genesis we can do the same thing highlight this edit it, the selected and that is our desired profile so we can minimize we have that profile loaded we can close this and then we can go to the emulators fusion does pretty much everything for Sega launch that go to options set config controllers and you can do it one of two ways you can actually use the keyboard in conjunction you know use the keyboard and use these keys or you can do it on the actual joystick um, I would select the six button pad 
in relation to the actual buttons on your control panel, Z, X, and Y are the bottom three. C, V, T are the top three. And the fourth button is the comma. So we're going to click on define right here. Up, down, left, right. Z for A, X for B, Y for C. The start button is going to be uh, the period because that's player one start. X is going to be C, Y is going to be V, and Z is going to be T. And the mode we're going to say is that fourth button, which is the comma. So you just corrected the uh, configuration error with that particular emulator. Now all these emulators can be opened individually and set to be proper. And um, I'll, I'll, I'll do another video for that, checking which emulators run which system. That's it for this one.